Yo, what's up guys, I'll be showing you every single method to get all duffel bags in GT Online. This works on all platforms and you won't lose any of your saved outfits, on top of that these are all completely solo. It took me a pretty long time to make this video, so if you do enjoy this video leave a like and subscribe with post notice. I will also leave timestamps for all the duffel bags in the description. Now let's get right into it. This is how you obtain the contrast camo duffel bag. To start go to your auto shop and then go to the job board. Start the super dollar deal. If if you don't see it on the board use the method that I showed for the red and blue duffel bag. Start this job then complete the two setups and start the robbery. Leave all the settings like they are just ready up, pick a car and wait till you load in. When you load in pull over on the sidewalk so you are safe. Then open your interaction menu, go to appearance, illuminated clothing and hold right on the d-pad for 30 seconds. When you did that, leave your interaction menu open and go AFK for 15 minutes. I recommend waiting on your PlayStation or Xbox home screen in case you have stick drift or accidentally touch your controller. After 15 minutes you should get kicked, wait a couple seconds on this alert before accepting it. Then wait till you're back in line. When you spawn back, you will need to register as a CEO, VIP or MC. Then go to management, style and switch your outfit once to the right and back. The duffel bag will now appear and we will now save it. To save it, go to the mask store with a flying vehicle. Jump off out your vehicle and pull your parachute. Now you will need to parachute right into the mask store. Then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. Then save your outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. Now I will show you two ways to get the blue duffel bag. For the first one you will need to go to your arcade, then start the casino heist, select the big con approach, now go to the next port and start to prep news gear. There are two duffel bags in this mission, deliver the first one normally, then go to the other one and make your way over to your arcade with a flying vehicle. Then jump off route your vehicle, pull the parachute and parachute into the yellow circle at your arcade garage. So exactly like this. Then go to any ammunition. Go to the front counter, then to parachutes, parachute bags and purchase number 26. Now open your interaction menu, go to appearance, parachute and equip the parachute bag. Now go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. From here you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. So just like this, then save this outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. For the second method you need a salvage yard, then register as a boss and access the computer. Now these three cars are different every week, but we need to start the podium robbery. From here we need to do the repo equipment task. To start it, go outside. Now look on your map and you should see these green icons, robbery tasks. Go to one of these locations. It will say which prep it is in the top left. For me it was located over here and I believe the other possible location is somewhere over here. So now start it and follow the instructions. You will need to eliminate some guys and then look for the blue duffel bag. When you found it, press right on the d-pad to equip it. Then go back to your salvage yard. Make sure that you are in a flying vehicle because we need to parachute right into our salvage yard. You can hold both bumpers to parachute more accurately. Then make way over to the ammunition. 
go to the front counter, then to parachutes, parachute bags and perch number 26. Now open your interaction menu, go to appearance, parachute and equip the parachute bag. Now make your way over to the mask store. If the mask store icon is green for you, first go into it and select any mask set. This is for the robbery. Then fly up in the air. Jump off or out your vehicle and pull your parachute. Then parachute into the mask store. So just like this and then start spamming right on the d-pad. Then save this outfit in an empty outfit slot. Then back out and equip your outfit, it will now have the blue duffel bag. This is for the purple duffel bag. First you need a salvage yard, then register as a boss and access the computer. Now these three cars are different every week, but we need to have the Duggan robbery. Then go outside. Look on your map and you should see these green icons, robbery tasks. The one that we need is usually one that's close to a clothing store, so for me it's this one. When you're at the location, it will also say what it is in the top left. We need the LS Panic Outfits robbery task, so press right on the D-pad to start it. Then go to the clothing store. Go inside and look for the purple duffel bag, it's usually behind the front counter. Press right on the d-pad to equip it, then go back to your salvage yard. Make sure that you are in a flying vehicle because we need to parachute right into our salvage yard. You can hold both bumpers to parachute more accurately. So you need to land just like this. Then go to the ammunition. Now go to the parachute, parachute bags and purchase number 26. Back out and open your interaction menu, go to appearance, parachute and equip it. Now make your way over to the mask store. If the mask store icon is green for you, first go into it and select any mask set. This is for the robbery. Then fly up in the air. Jump off or out your vehicle and pull your parachute, then parachute into the mask store. So just like this and then spam right on the d-pad. You can now save this outfit. Then back out and equip your purple outfit, it will now have the purple duffel bag. Next up I will show 3 methods to get the red duffel bag, starting with the Keo Perico method. So go to your Kasatka and access this screen. Do all the setups and make sure you did the Alkanost prep. That's because we need to select it as our approach vehicle. So start the heist and select the Alkanost as the approach vehicle. Then select the other options and continue. From here select the casual team outfit style and then pick the launcher outfit. Now you will need to wait till you can jump out the plane. Then try to land somewhere on the island at a safe spot. Then open your interaction menu, go to appearance, then the illuminated clothing and hold right on the d-pad for about 30 seconds. When you did that, leave your interaction menu open and go AFK for 15 minutes. I recommend waiting on your PlayStation or Xbox home screen in case you have stick drift or accidentally touch your controller. After 15 minutes you should get kicked, wait a couple seconds on this alert before accepting it. Then wait till you're back in line. When you spawn back, you will need to register as a CEO, VIP or MC. Then go to management, style and switch your outfit once to the right and back. The duffel bag will now appear and we will now save it. To save it, go to the mask store with a flying vehicle. Jump off or out your vehicle and pull your parachute. Now you will need to parachute right into the mask store. Then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. So just like this. Then save your outfit in an empty outfit slot. 
You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. For the second method, go to your arcade. Then choose the big con approach for the casino heist. Go to the second board and start the maintenance gear prep. There are two duffel bags, so grab the first one and just deliver it normally. Then come back to pick up the second duffel bag. Now you will need to go to your arcade with a flying vehicle. Then jump off route your vehicle, pull the parachute and parachute into the yellow circle at your arcade garage. So exactly like this. Then go to any ammunition. Go to the front counter, then to parachutes, parachute bags and purchase number 26. Now open your interaction menu, go to appearance, parachute and equip the parachute bag. Now go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. From here you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. So just like this, then save this outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. The third method to get this duffel bag is with your auto shop, start the last contract. Then launch the first setup, lab locations. Eliminate the bikers and collect the documents from the safe. Now go upstairs and collect the red duffel bag. Then go to your auto shop with a flying vehicle, jump off route and pull your parachute. Now you will need to land on the yellow marker at your auto shop. If you have the same one as me it's a little bit harder so I recommend holding both bumpers on your controller so you can parachute more precisely. This is perfect, then make your way over to any ammunition. Go to the front counter, then to parachutes, parachute bags and purchase number 26. Now open your interaction menu, go to appearance, parachute and equip the parachute bag. Now go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. From here you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. So just like this, then save this outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. Now I will show you how to get the orange duffel bag. First you need a salvage yard, then register as a boss and access the computer. These three cars are different every week but you need to have the McTony robbery. Scope out the submarine and then the tasks will appear. We need to do security outfits. So go outside, look on your map and you should see these green icons, robbery tasks. For me it's this one but for you it can be at a different location. When you're at the robbery task it will also say what it is in the top left. So this is the correct one, then press right on the d-pad to start it. Now go to the area marked on your minimap and look for the orange duffel bag. Press right on the d-pad to equip it. Then go back to your selfie chart with a flying vehicle. Now jump off route and pull your parachute. You will then need to land right on the yellow marker. So just like this. When you did that, make your way over to the ammunition. Go to the front counter, then to the parachute, parachute bags and purchase number 26. Back out and open your interaction menu, go to appearance, parachute and equip it. Now make your way over to the mask store. If the mask store is green for you, first go into it and select any mask set, this is for the robbery. Then fly up in the air. Jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute, then parachute into the mask store. So just like this and then start spamming right on the d-pad. You can now save this outfit. Then back out and equip your outfit. It will now have the orange duffel bag. 
Next up a method to get the green duffel bag. First you need a silver chart, then register as a boss and access the computer. Now these three cards are different every week, but we need to have the gangbanger robbery. This week it's the Issy Rally. Now we have to start the task Weapon Stash. So go outside, look on your map and you should see these green icons, robbery tasks. The one that we need is usually one that's close to an ammunition, so for me it's this one. When you're at the robbery task it will also say what it is in the top left. So this is the right one, then press right on the d-pad to start it. Now go to the ammunition. Go inside and look for the green duffel bag, it's usually in the back or in the shooting range. When you found it, press right on the d-pad to equip it. Then go to the police station with a flying vehicle, then jump off or out and pull your parachute. Now you will need to land just like me, so round the dumpster. Then walk to it and stash the weapons. Now walk away and make way over to the nearest ammunition. Now go to the front counter, then to the parachute, parachute bags and purchase number 26. Back out and open your interaction menu, go to appearance, parachute and equip it. Now make your way over to the mask store. If the mask store icon on your minimap is green for you, first go into it and select any mask set. This is for the robbery. Then fly up in the air. Jump off or out your vehicle and pull your parachute, then parachute into the mask store. So just like this and then spam right on the d-pad to access the mask store. You can now save this outfit. Then back out and equip your outfit. It will now have the green duffel bag and you can even switch between saved outfits. Now I will show you how to get the yellow duffel bag. For the first method, we will use a dex mission, so go to the freak shop located over here. If you don't see it, you probably have to go to run, shown with a yellow R around here on the map. We actually need the last first dose mission. If you already played them all once, open your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play job, rocks are created, go to missions and look for the job first dose 6 of the rules. Leave all the settings like they are and just start the mission. You will now see the duffel bag, then open your interaction menu, go to appearance, then the illuminated clothing and hold right on the d-pad for about 30 seconds. When you did that, leave your interaction menu open and go AFK for 15 minutes. I recommend waiting on your PlayStation or Xbox home screen in case you have stick drift or accidentally touch your controller. After 15 minutes you should get kicked, wait a couple seconds on this alert before accepting it. Then wait till you're back in line. When you spawn back, you will need to register as a CEO, VIP or MC. Then go to management, style and switch your outfit once to the right and back. The duffel bag will now appear and we will now save it. To save it, go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. Now you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. So just like this, then save your outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. For the second method, go to your arcade. Then choose the big con approach for the casino heist. Then go to the second board and start the vault drills prep. There are two duffel bags, so grab the first one and just deliver it normally. Then come back to pick up the second duffel bag. Now you will need to go to your arcade with a flying vehicle. Then jump off out your vehicle, pull the parachute and parachute into the yellow circle at your arcade garage. So exactly like this. Then go to any ammunition. Go to the front counter, then to parachutes, parachute bags and purchase number 26.
Now open your interaction menu, go to appearance, parachute and equip the parachute bag. Now go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. From here you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. Then save this outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. For the third method you need a salvage yard, then register as a boss and access the computer. Now these three cars are different every week, but we need to start a cargo ship robbery. From here we need to start a sabotage and disguise prep, then make your way over to the pier, take out some guys and enter this building. Now you will need to hack the LSPA database. From here you will need to place 3 bombs. Now look for the yellow duffel bag, it's always in one of these racks. Then go back to your salvage yard. Make sure that you are in a flying vehicle because we need to parachute right into our salvage yard. You can hold both bumpers to parachute more accurately. Then make way over to the ammunition. Go to the front counter, then to parachutes, parachute bags and purchase number 26. Now open your interaction menu, go to appearance, parachute and equip the parachute bag. Now make your way over to the mask store. If the mask store icon is green for you, first go into it and select any mask set. This is for the robbery. Then fly up in the air. Jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute, then parachute into the mask store. So just like this and then start spamming right on the d-pad. Then save this outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit and a duffel bag will appear. Now we will do the regular duffel bag. First go inside your Kasatka, then access this screen and start to prep Plasma Cutter. You first have to scope out Keo Perico and I believe that you also have to get a specific primary target to get this prep. Now you will need to steal the Plasma Cutter, they are inside the duffel bag. Then get in a flying vehicle and go to your submarine. Now jump off or out your flying vehicle and parachute into the front door of your submarine. So right over here and then start spamming right on the d-pad to enter. Just like this, then go to the ammunition. Go to the front counter, then to parachute, parachute bags and purchase number 26. Then open your interaction menu, go to appearance, parachute and equip it. Now go to the mask store with a flying vehicle. Jump out and pull your parachute. Then parachute right into the mask store. When you land, start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. Now press the button to edit your saved outfits and save this outfit. Now you can equip your saved outfit and a duffel bag will appear. For this method you will need to get in the back of your terabyte and access this screen. Then go to client jobs and start robbery in progress. Now access the screen again and scroll through the camera till you find the bank where the cops are at. Then make your way over to the bank, shoot everyone and also shoot some rockets inside the bank before you go in because there's a juggernaut inside. Now grab the duffel bag and lose the cops. You can also call Lester to remove your wanted level. When you did that, make your way over to the yellow marker on the map. You will need to be up in the air cause we will need to parachute right into the yellow halo.
When you did that, make your way over to the ammunition. Go to parachutes, parachute bags and purchase number 26. Equip the parachute and make your way over to the mask store with a flying vehicle. Then parachute right into the mask store and spam right on the d-pad to access the mask store. Then you can save this outfit. Now equip the outfit that you saved to get your duffel bag. The only downside is that you can't change your outfit, so you will need to take the easy way out to be able to change your outfit. Next up I will show how to get the blue and yellow duffel bag. For this one you need the Keo Perico Heist Finale. So go to your Kasatka and access this screen. Do all the setups and make sure you did the Elkanost prep. That's because we need to select it as our approach vehicle. So start the heist and select the Elkanost as the approach vehicle. Then select the other options and continue. From here you can leave it on this outfit, so the urban armor, the star outfit, then ready up. Now you will need to wait till you can jump out the plane. Then try to land somewhere on the island at a safe spot. You will now see the duffel bag, then open your interaction menu, go to appearance, then the illuminated clothing and hold right on the d-pad for about 30 seconds. When you did that, leave your interaction menu open and go AFK for 15 minutes. I recommend waiting on your PlayStation or Xbox home screen in case you have stick drift or accidentally touch your controller. After 15 minutes you should get kicked, wait a couple seconds on this alert before accepting it. Then wait till you're back in line. When you spawn back, you will need to register as a CEO, VIP or MC. Then go to management, style and switch your outfit once to the right and back. The duffel bag will now appear and we will now save it. To save it, go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. Now you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. So just like this, then save your outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. Next up I will show how to get the flag tarn duffel bag, for this one you need the Keo Perico Heist Finale. So go to your Kasatka and access this screen. Do all the setups and make sure you did the Elkanost prep. That's because we need to select it as our approach vehicle. So start the heist and select the Elkanost as the approach vehicle. Then select the other options and continue. From here select the jungle camo team outfit style and then pick the jaguar outfit. Now you will need to wait till you can jump out the plane. Then try to land somewhere on the island at a safe spot. Then open your interaction menu, go to appearance, then the illuminated clothing and hold right on the d-pad for about 30 seconds. When you did that, leave your interaction menu open and go AFK for 15 minutes. I recommend waiting on your PlayStation or Xbox home screen in case you have stick drift or accidentally touch your controller. After 15 minutes you should get kicked, wait a couple seconds on this alert before accepting it. Then wait till you're back in line. When you spawn back, you will need to register as a CEO, VIP or MC. Then go to management, style and switch your outfit once to the right and back. The duffel bag will now appear and we will now save it. To save it, go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. Now you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. So just like this, then save your outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. Now I will show how to get the red and blue duffel bag. For the first method you need to go to your auto shop, then go up the stairs and go to the job board. For this duffel bag we need the ECU job. So if it doesn't show up on the board start any of these jobs and then go outside. Now 
Now you will need to call Sasenta and cancel the contract job. Then go back inside and go to the board. Do this till you get the ECU job and then start the first setup, train inventory. When you arrived at the location, I recommend going to the back of this fan to equip the dog worker outfit. This way you can do this prep stealthily. First take a picture of the container manifest, it's usually somewhere at the back of the boat. When you did that, go to the front of the boat and somewhere here you will find a duffel bag. Then go to your auto shop with a flying vehicle, jump off route out and pull your parachute. Now you will need to land on the yellow marker at your auto shop. If you have the same one as me, it's a little bit harder so I recommend holding both bumpers on your controller so you can parachute more precisely. This is perfect, then make your way over to any ammunition. Go to the front counter, then to parachutes, parachute bags and purchase number 26. Now open your interaction menu, go to appearance, parachute and equip the parachute bag. Now go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. From here you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. So just like this, then save this outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. For the second method, you will need to have the diamond casino heist finale ready with the big gun approach. Then make sure you did the boxster gear preps, there are two so keep that in mind. From here, go to Entry Disguise and select the box stars. Then select the other options and continue. You can choose any outfit, but I recommend equipping the debugger outfit so you can get the yellow rebreather at the same time. Now open your interaction menu, go to appearance, then to illuminated clothing and hold right on the d-pad for about 40 seconds. When you did that, leave your interaction menu open and go AFK for 15 minutes. I recommend waiting on your PlayStation or Xbox home screen in case you have stick drift or accidentally touch your controller. After 15 minutes you should get kicked, wait a couple seconds on this alert before accepting it. Then we do your back in line. When you are back in line, you should now have this outfit. The duffel bag will disappear, so register as a CEO, VIP, or MC. Then go to management, style, switch your outfit once to the right and back. We will now save this outfit. To save it, go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. Now you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. So just like this, then save your outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. Next up we have the blue digital duffel bag. To start go to your auto shop and then go to the job board. Then start the bank contract. If you don't see it on the board use the method that I showed for the red and blue duffel bag. Start this job and then launch the prep called thermocharges. It's pretty easy, just fly over the thermocharges to collect it and go back to your auto shop. Make sure that you have a flying vehicle, jump off or out and pull your parachute. Now you will need to land on the yellow marker at your auto shop. You can hold both bumpers on your controller to parachute more precisely. Just like this, then make your way over to any ammunition. Go to the front counter, then to parachutes, parachute bags and purchase number 26. Now open your interaction menu, go to appearance, parachute and equip the parachute bag. Now go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. 
From here, you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. So just like this. Then save this outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. Now I will show how to get the 10 camo duffel bag. To start, go to your auto shop and then go to the job board. Then start the data contract. If you don't see it on the board, use the method that I showed for the red and blue duffel bag. Start this job, then complete the two setups and start the robbery. Leave all the settings like they are, just ready up, pick a car and wait till you load in. When you load in, pull over on the sidewalk so you are safe. Then open your interaction menu, go to appearance, illuminated clothing and hold right on the d-pad for 30 seconds. When you did that, leave your interaction menu open and go AFK for 15 minutes. I recommend waiting on your PlayStation or Xbox home screen in case you have stick drift or accidentally touch your controller. After 15 minutes you should get kicked, wait a couple seconds on this alert before accepting it. Then wait till you are back in line. When you spawn back, you will need to register as a CEO, VIP or MC. Then go to management, style and switch your outfit once to the right and back. The duffel bag will now appear and we will now save it. To save it, go to the mask store with a flying vehicle. Jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. Now you will need to parachute right into the mask store. Then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. So just like this. Then save your outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. Now I will show how to get the jet black duffel bag. So this one is darker than the normal black duffel bag. First go inside your Kosatka. Then access this screen. You first have to complete all the preps so you can start the KO Perico heist finale. Also make sure that you did the Elkanos prep, so the plain one. Now select the Elkanas as your approach vehicle, then fill in all the different options and start the heist. While you're on this screen, select Night Ops as your team outfit style and ready up. You will now need to wait till you can jump out the plane. Then just land on the island. Now open your interaction menu, go to appearance and hold right on the d-pad on the illuminated clothing for 30 seconds. When you did that, leave your interaction menu open and go AFK for 15 minutes. I recommend waiting on your PlayStation or Xbox home screen to make sure it works. After 15 minutes you should get kicked for being AFK. Wait a couple seconds on this alert and then accept it. You should now have the outfit with the duffel bag, the duffel bag will disappear after a couple seconds. To fix it, register as a CEO, VIP or MC, then go to management, style and switch your outfit once to the right and back. The duffel bag will reappear on your outfit and you will need to go to the mask store with a flying vehicle. Jump off or out your flying vehicle and open your parachute, then parachute right into the mask store. When you land, start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. Now press the button to edit your saved outfits and save this outfit. Now you can equip your saved outfit and a duffel bag will appear. For the second method, go to your arcade. Then choose the big con approach for the casino heist. Now go to the second board and start the group of gear prep. There are two parts. The first part is a little bit annoying cause you have to drive a truck all the way to your arcade. So when you did that, start the second group of gear prep. We will now need to steal the group of gear outfits. There are two duffel bags for this mission, so just deliver the first one normally. Then pick up the second one and go to your arcade with a flying vehicle. Then jump off out your vehicle, pull the parachute and parachute into the yellow circle at your arcade garage. So exactly like this. Then go to any ammunition. Go to the front counter, then to parachutes, parachute bags and purchase number 26. 
Now open your interaction menu, go to appearance, parachute and equip the parachute bag. Now go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. From here you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. So just like this, then save this outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. Now I will show how to get the green camo duffel bag. To start go to your auto shop and then go to the job board. Start the agency deal. If you don't see it on the board use the method that I showed for the red and blue duffel bag. Complete the two setups and start the raid. Leave all the settings like they are just ready up, pick a car and wait till you load in. When you load in, pull over on the sidewalk so you are safe. Then open your interaction menu, go to appearance, illuminated clothing and hold right on the d-pad for 30 seconds. When you did that, leave your interaction menu open and go AFK for 15 minutes. I recommend waiting on your PlayStation or Xbox home screen in case you have stick drift or accidentally touch your controller. After 15 minutes you should get kicked, wait a couple seconds on this alert before accepting it. Then wait till you're back in line. When you spawn back, you will need to register as a CEO, VIP or MC. Then go to management, style and switch your outfit once to the right and back. The duffel bag will now appear and we will now save it. To save it, go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. Now you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. Then save your outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. For the second method you need the KO Perico Heist Finale. So go to your Kasatka and access this screen. Do all the setups and make sure you did the Alkanost prep. That's because we need to select it as our approach vehicle. So start the heist and select the Alkanost as the approach vehicle. Then select the other options and continue. Now select the Grassland Armor style and choose the Tracker outfit. Then ready up. Now you will need to wait till you can jump out the plane. Then try to land somewhere on the island at a safe spot. Then open your interaction menu, go to appearance, then the illuminated clothing and hold right on the d-pad for about 30 seconds. When you did that, leave your interaction menu open and go AFK for 15 minutes. I recommend waiting on your PlayStation or Xbox home screen in case you have stick drift or accidentally touch your controller. After 15 minutes you should get kicked, wait a couple seconds on this alert before accepting it. Then wait till you're back in line. When you spawn back, you will need to register as a CEO, VIP or MC. Then go to management, style and switch your outfit once to the right and back. The duffel bag will now appear and we will now save it. To save it, go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. Now you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. So just like this, then save your outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. There are two methods for the splinter duffel bag starting with the arcade method. For the first method you need to start the casino heist and choose the silent and sneaky approach. Then go to the second board and start to prep infiltration suits. There are two duffel bags in this mission, deliver the first one normally, then go to the other one and make a way over to your arcade with a flying vehicle. Then jump off route your vehicle, pull the parachute and parachute into the yellow circle at your arcade garage. So exactly like this. Then go to any ammunition. Go to the front counter, then to parachutes, parachute bags and purchase number 26. 
Now open your interaction menu, go to appearance, parachute and equip the parachute bag. Now go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. From here you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. Then save this outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. For the second method you need the Cape Rico Iced Finale. So go to your Kasatka and access this screen. Do all the setups and make sure you did the Alkanost prep. That's because we need to select it as our approach vehicle. So start the heist and select the Alkanost as the approach vehicle. Then select the other options and continue. From here choose the gorilla outfit style and select this outfit, then ready up. Now you will need to wait till you can jump out the plane. Then try to land somewhere on the island at a safe spot. You will now see the duffel bag, then open your interaction menu, go to appearance, then the illuminated clothing and hold right on the d-pad for about 30 seconds. When you did that, leave your interaction menu open and go AFK for 15 minutes. I recommend waiting on your PlayStation or Xbox home screen in case you have stick drift or accidentally touch your controller. After 15 minutes you should get kicked, wait a couple seconds on this alert before accepting it. Then wait till you're back in line. When you spawn back, you will need to register as a CEO, VIP or MC. Then go to management, style and switch your outfit once to the right and back. The duffel bag will now appear and we will now save it. To save it, go to the mask store with a flying vehicle, jump off route your vehicle and pull your parachute. Now you will need to parachute right into the mask store, then start spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store. So just like this, then save your outfit in an empty outfit slot. You can now equip your saved outfit through your interaction menu and the duffel bag will appear. Now I will show you how to get the black open duffel bag. For this method you first have to go to the freak shop, it's located right over here. There should be a yellow D over here, but if you never played the first dose missions, you first have to do a mission from run over here on the map, there will be a yellow R. If you already played all the first and last dose missions, you can start it through your pause menu, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go to missions and then scroll down till you find the first dose missions. When you found them, start the second first dose mission, so this one. Now confirm the settings and start it. From here go to the docks and find a truck, there's one over here. Now collect the party supplies next to a ship. Then the trailer will go on fire, so disconnect it by holding right on the d-pad and from there drive to the lost MC clubhouse. There you will need to eliminate some bikers and then you can go inside. Watch out for some more enemies inside the clubhouse, then walk into this room with the red door. Now take a picture of the whiteboard and send it to Dex. Now walk back out and go to the left, here you will see the duffel bag. Press right on the d-pad to equip it. This is an open duffel bag by the way. You can also see that the duffel bag is darker than my black outfit. Now open your interaction menu, go to appearance and hold right on the d-pad on the illuminated clothing for 30 seconds. Quit the mission through your phone. When you are back in online you should have the duffel bag on your outfit. If you don't see it, register as a boss, so a CEO, VIP or MC. Now go to management, style, switch your outfit once to the right and back. Then you should see the duffel bag on your outfit. Now we will save it. To do that, go to the mask store with a flying vehicle. Jump off or out your flying vehicle and pull your parachute. Then you will need to parachute right into the mask store. Where you land, spam right on the d-pad. So now I'm spamming right on the d-pad to access the mask store and then I can save my outfit. 
back out and equip the outfit that you saved. You will now have the jet black duffel bag and you can even switch outfits, change accessories and all that. Lastly I will show how to transfer duffel bags onto any outfit. First equip a parachute bag on the outfit that you want the duffel bag on, and then save it. Now equip the outfit with the black duffel bag and fly up in the air, but this time you will need to go higher so you have more time in the air. Now jump out or off your vehicle and pull your parachute. Then equip the outfit that you saved with a parachute via your interaction menu. Now parachute into the mask store again and spam right on the d-pad. You can now save your outfit again and that's how you can get the black duffel bag on any outfit. Hopefully this helped you out and I will catch you in the next one, bye bye.